obesity and weight loss. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anita Shishadri, Sir Consultant Physician at Sigma Hospital, Mysore. I would like to talk about obesity and weight loss. Obesity, as we all know, is a storage of excess body fat, which is a result of consuming more calories than that we can burn out. So it's associated with a lot of health problems. We all know diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular disease. There are also other conditions associated like many cancers and uh, fertility and menstrual problems in women, respiratory problems, breathing difficulty, so on. The list is quite a big. So we need to uh, understand that and work towards uh, reducing this global health problem. We need to take care of our health. So the management of obesity is one and only weight loss. How do we do about, uh, how we go about it is what we are going to talk about today. There are two options for weight loss. The most commonest and the safest is the non-pharmacological methods. We do, we do have some medications available, but they are not the first choice. So the weight loss uh, involves three main uh, parameters, the diet, physical activity and a comprehensive behavioral and lifestyle modification. So diet, we hear a lot about diet and people trying to lose weight. How we do it? Now diet, um, as many people uh, say, I'm doing diet, I'm on a diet. But does it really help? The commonest mistake that people do is skipping a meal. Never ever skip a meal. Take three main meals in a day with some one or two light snacks. What you eat, how much you eat is what matters. Skipping a meal definitely will not help. In fact, you will gain more weight because once you skip a meal, the hormones play effect and also you tend to binge eat next time when you take a meal. So small meals at the proper time and light snacks in between is what is advocated for weight loss. So include more, more uh, fruits and vegetables, eat low calorie food, avoid junk like chocolates, ice creams, burgers and so forth. Uh, light snacks also should be light and healthy portions like fruits, green salads, etc. Of course, one or two days of cheat days in a month is allowed just to keep yourself going. Next is the physical activity. It should be about uh, 30 to 40 minutes a day. What should be your physical activity? Brisk walking, swimming, outdoor sports etc going to a gym definitely will help but what you do in the gym is matters doing some weight uh, bodybuilding exercise won't help you lose weight you need to do cardio metabolic exercise so the physical the safest and the cheapest is brisk walking so if you indulge in 30 to 40 minutes of brisk walking every day that should be sufficient and um, you should have a sustained uh, activity. Behavioral modification, that's where it comes into play. You need to give yourself time to modify your uh, lifestyle to go for uh, physical activity as well as for your diet changes. So that's why the uh, modifi uh, behavioral modification plays an important role. Get adequate rest and sleep. What you eat is definitely going to take you a long way. So the weight loss, how much you lose weight in how many months? A weight, an ideal body weight is individualized based on the height of the person. We decide based on what is called as the body mass index. So a person losing weight will have to do a screening, determine an ideal body weight for himself or herself and then go through a phase of weight loss and then a maintenance phase to sustain the lost weight. 
I, uh, it's not even healthy to lose weight drastically. About 500 mg per kg or about 1 to 2 kg in the first 1 or 2 months is good enough. That will give you a boost and to continue for more. So set yourself a target and work towards your goals. Even if you take about 6 months to 1 year to reach your ideal body weight, that's very good. So once you reach that, uh, you need to maintain it. So it's not like you do the lifestyle changes and the diet changes for about six months and then give up. No, because that should be your lifestyle and your diet for your life. It's very important to maintain the lost weight and not regain it. So that's why you allow yourself in between a little bit of um, your favorite foods and Maybe you keep at, uh, one or two days in a month and so that you look forward to it and that helps you going. So all the best and you will definitely discover a new yourself towards the end. Thank you.